the Senate caucus of the All Progressives Congress has held a meeting to deliberate on the leadership issues currently facing the party with the President of the Senate, Hamid Lawan, Deputy President of the Senate, Ovie Omwagege, Senator, Senate Chief Whip, Oji Uzokalu, and others in attendance, with Senate Leader Yahya Abdullahi presiding. Well, the recent development in the APC at the national level which has seen Niger State Governor Abu Bakr Sani Bailu taking over the leadership of the party, is that to have topped the agenda alongside preparations for the March 26th National Convention of the party. Right, let's uh, deepen the discussion now with uh, Senator Rocha Sukurocha, who is also former governor of Imo State. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Good to see you on Newsnight. Uh, well, let's, uh, I mean, get your thoughts on this sudden uh, change in the leadership within the APC, what some have described as a coup. And there are reports, too, that, uh, you know, that confirm that President Muhammad Buhari may have given the go-ahead for the sack of Buni. Uh, May Malabuni. Well, um, democracy in Nigeria has a lot of challenges. And as you know, democracy came like a wild wind from America to Africa, to Nigeria, and most of us do not understand what democracy all means. So there are a lot of sentiments not issues that goes with the way we practice the Nigerian democracy, especially the internal democracy. But coming to the APC, the APC was formed by four major parties, the CPC, the ACN, the APGA, the MPP, with DPP and new PDP that joined much later. That was arrangement, and we, we operated as a family. But shortly after we have won or had our victory, we could not sustain the uh, organs of the party to function properly. And that gave rise to these changes and changes that you are saying. But I think what the party is trying to do is to make sure they get things right, because uh, a lot of uh, mistakes have been made. Um, we have lost the entire uh, purpose for which the party ab initio was established. So that is what you are seeing playing out. And you have a lot of sentiments and uh, people who are looking at um, uh, party, party structure to control party structure or to use it for 2023. So those who are looking at 2023 are busy with the party structure who are not looking beyond 2023. But I know this will, uh, what has just happened will definitely uh, strengthen the party uh, and especially if we can manage to have our convention conducted. That's just what we need to do now. And a lot of things to stay fixed in the party, such as uh, reconciliations. There are a lot of internal crises here and there, especially at the state levels. Uh, I hope with the coming of uh, Governor Niger, uh, we'll quickly do something within a couple of days to come to reconcile warring factions and have a successful convention. But what I'm saying is uh, this is typical of Nigerian politics and Nigerian democracy. That's what's just playing out, interest and interest upon interest. All right. As someone with a presidential ambition, uh, whoever runs your party should be of keen interest to you talking about the leadership of your party. And you talked about your party making a lot of mistakes. Uh, are you saying these mistakes were made under the bony led uh, Kataka committee at the helms of affairs of your party? And for those who wonder why now, uh, the bony led committee had announced March 26th as the date for your convention. Its tenure has been extended for three times. So why now, when it's just barely a month to the convention, why was he removed? Well, uh, talking about mistakes, the mistakes started after we won the election. A lot of mistakes, ranging from the time of Shimole to this present day. And it is all about who controls the party structure. Um, that is a major issue. But um, what I would have, another question I should have asked, 
it's not about whether to, uh, uh, Bonnet was just sacked yesterday or in place. Was what made us successful as a party? How do you come to a family to remove an incumbent power, I mean, the PDP? Was that because we came together and we recognized the founding fathers of the party? We recognized that President Mohamed Buhari led the CPC, Aswaju Ahmed Tribu led the SCN, Rocha Sokrocha led APGA, Obenono and Sas and Yari and Shetima, all those who led the NPP. And our position were shared amongst these founding fathers. But shortly after that, the foundation of this party was thrown away and we had people who came in to now control the same system of politics. And that is what we have to today. But um, whatever had made the leadership saw it right to remove Boni at this time might not be unconnected with the fact that they want to have uh, a free and fair convention on the 26th so that the party can move forward. Are you saying that uh, with the uh, May Mala Boni presence uh, during that March 26th convention, if it does happen, uh, will work against some interests while some other interests you know, may be protected? And what are your recommendations really for the APC to move forward? I'd like you to address those. It's very, it's very simple. APC is a great party. And there's just one thing or two things they will do and the party will be right. Number one, uh, the government of APC is a law-abiding government. And President Mohamed Buhari is someone who respects the law and rule of law. APC must, as a matter of urgency, obey all court judgments and court orders where they exist. APC must reconcile all factions in the party. The third one is APC must recognize the foundation parties that form the APC. Say, for instance, it is right, the way, in the spirit of APC, what we should have done that will end this crisis will be, listen, President Mohamed Buhari, as the leader of this party, and as the father of this party, would ha and under CPC arrangements, should be able to say who becomes the chairman of the party under our consensus arrangements. Now, as well you are material who contributed heavily to the formation of this party, should be allowed to say, okay, but produce the secretary. And so also is the AMPP and the APGA and those key parties. Produce one one position, and this will quell a lot of tension. Now we'll go back to the zones and say, listen, there are many of these parties. Can you share this 11 position that are made available according to states? And let the stakeholders sit together and produce uh, one one candidate because in having too many candidates, we are going to open up a pandora of uh, cases and court cases which will linger till after the primaries or even go beyond the 4th of June and will be running there for our next timetable. We are choked with time and that's the best way to do. But some people uh, in the party who just want to, uh, you know, I don't understand. The same Nigerian mentality, let's grab it, let's hold the power, let's do this, we must determine who, who becomes this, who becomes that. And no longer issue based uh, has well, always well, been the problem. But amount, I think with will it not the amount gentleman, to, if you can hear me, will it not amount to imposition uh, rather than uh, consensus? And that in itself is against the spirit of democracy, is it not? If I mean, just like you've said, you know, people like Ashiwaju pick a secretary, a Rota Sokorocha picks chairman, possibly, and all of that. Is it not anti-democratic? No, that is not individual. It's given to the foundation, founding parties, the CPC, the SCN, the APGA. Remember, we're a family that came together. I mean, that's just free and fair. This is just fairness. That will help a whole lot. That, that's just a way to go. I'm not saying individuals, but there are groups. Then you can now come back to the party itself according to their zones and see what they can all bring. This is a way of carrying everybody along. And I think that's the wise thing of bringing consensus into the arrangement. But yeah. now if you don't do that, mm -hmm. some part of the party, some part of the uh, founding parties will feel rejected and neglected. I'm only providing a solution as to what we can do to have a peaceful convention. It doesn't matter who is the chairman, who is the secretary, who is the treasurer, for as long as there's a level playground. I'm fine with that. So I'm not even okay, in a struggle so as to whether yeah. who becomes what. Yes. In line, in line with your submission, 
Uh, would you then agree with the reports that the president has endorsed Senator Abdullahi Adamu as the next chairman of your party, even though this has generated agitations in some quarters within your party? Is that a fair playing ground, as you say, for Senator Abdullahi to become the next chairman? Do you agree and do you endorse him? If, if that is a position zone to the CPC where President Mohamed Buhari is the leader. I'm sure the CPC must have met and President Mohamed Buhari is the leader of, the, of that very uh, uh, section, that major section that came into form the APC. It is absolutely right. And so will also be for the secretary, the treasurer and that. We have done this before. That was how we were able to win the last election, if you remember. I'm just telling you what we did before that gave us victory. Uh, okay, well, it, it almost looks like the fault lines are still very much within the APC, and that might be uh, the fundamental problem. You are able to still identify uh, CPC and other parties that came together to form uh, the APC. Is that what it is? Very quickly. Well, def well definitely, you will agree that uh, those, those, those parties still, uh, still are there because the leadership are still there. And that's the sentiments that carry everybody along. So it is allowed because we, you came together to form a party. Uh, uh, um, and that is what it is. So the point I'm making, we're only trying to profile solution as to what can we do to avoid going into a full-blown primaries within the shortest available time that is allocated to us due to uh, the INEC Times Table and the Electoral Act. APC is in danger of time. So we must act quickly under the present ugly situation, which our condition points out to us, and to carry everybody along. What I'm saying, in essence, is that remember the founding parties that came together to form APC. Remember the stakeholders. And remember the governors. The governors will have a big role to play in any party. They are, the, uh, they are recognized as leaders of the party. So they should be given opportunity. When you do this, there will be peace and harmony. You see, essence of democracy is to see that everybody is carried along, especially when you don't want to have a full-blown uh, primaries or people contesting and buying forms. If not, we're going to be in, in litigation that will last beyond even this year. Well, okay. what is your reaction to those who say the South East, which has clamored to produce the next uh, president uh, of Nigeria, seems to be compromising to allow uh, other southern uh, geopolitical zones such as the southwest and the south south to produce the next president uh, do you see that playing out you have declared your ambition to become the next president would you be willing uh, to compromise that and will and allow for someone from the southwest or the south south to go ahead of you i, I don't really understand what, I'm, what that means but let me let me just say this, that as I'm running for president, as uh, a president of Federal Republic of Nigeria, by happenstance and by natural arrangement, I'm an Igbo man. But I'm not running as an, for an Igbo presidency. I'm running for Nigerian presidency. And I am not a candidate of zoning, but I'm a candidate of justice. Anytime we talk about this uh, zoning then I rather prefer people to talk about justice, fairness, and give everyone a sense of belonging. Remembering that I've been issue in the formation of this entity called Nigeria. Nigeria stood on tripod of the Yorubas, the Hausa, and the Igbos. These are the three major ethnic groups that started the nation called Nigeria. It's only fair and just and equitable that if the two legs have had a shot at this, let the third leg called the South East be allowed to do so. But that is where I stand. Uh, and this is why I think it is only fair and just. It might not be democratically right, but it is only equity and justice that would demand that the South East should be allowed to do so. Maybe All after right. this period, mm -hmm. then Nigeria will agree to say, listen, it must be on the basis of this or that or criteria. But since that has been the routine, they're not allowing somebody from Southeast at this time would give uh, a typical Southeast a sense of uh, 
uh, uh, not a sense of belonging anymore. That is just what we're talking about. Would you if defect, I've answered your question. Would you defect from the APC if uh, it doesn't go to a Southeast candidate? Defection is not even in my mind. I'm not even... I'm not even thinking about it. This is a party. I am a founding father of this party. I'm an equal shareholder and stakeholder in the party called APC. So thinking about defection is not even my vocabulary. I'm, I'm not even thinking about it. Because I believe at the end of the day, justice will seem to have been done. You know, people mistake a lot of things. What some of us are asking for is two things. Let's have... Uh, campaign democracy of issues not sentiments number two let us have a level playground for everybody you know why people are hungry for who become chairman and secretary and treasurer is that they might use the opportunity to manipulate the system for their own selfish end but who will care what is the role of chairman actually if chairman will make sure that election is free and fair and if election is free and fair, who cares who is chairman, who is secretary, okay. who is treasurer? All right. That is the point that we must address in our internal democracy. And that's a good place to leave it, Senator Rochas Okorocha from a governor of Imo State, Southwest Nigeria. Thank you so much for being on News Night.